All right. We're going to look at sound and do an investigation today. It says, how can vibrations make sound? A rubber band can stretch. You can pluck it. It will vibrate. You can observe how a rubber band vibrates. So here's the materials that we need. And boys and girls, this is an experiment that you can do at home as well. Okay, so you just will need these materials. You will need two rubber bands, okay? And you kind of want them to be different. You don't want them to be the same so that you can hear a different noise when they're plucked. The vibrations are gonna be different. Cardboard box and a hand lens. Now you might not have a hand lens and I don't think that you really need this, okay? When you're at home. I don't have one here either. Put on safety goggles. Well, you might not have them at home either. Choose one rubber band. Stretch the rubber band around the box. Predict what will happen when you pluck the rubber band. Pluck the rubber band. Use the hand lens to see how it vibrates. Record what you see and hear. Try it again with the other rubber band. All right, so I'm gonna do this experiment with you so that you can see how you could do this at home. So I just found a box <laughs> at my house and it's not a great box as you can see, it's a little broken, but that's what I had. So one side has a flap, so I don't want that side. I want the side without the flap. Okay, I found rubber bands. This one's kind of big. I found one that was fat and I found a skinny, a skinny one. Okay. Now I know it says you need uh, a hand lens, okay, but we don't have that at home. You should be able to see the rubber band vibrate without the hand lens. Okay. Also, we don't have safety goggles. Um, you might not have safety goggles at home, so make sure you ask an adult before you do this experiment. Okay. That way you're sure you don't get your eyes hurt. So first, I'm going to use this big rubber band. I'm going to stick it this way around my box. Whoa! Did you hear that? It already started to vibrate when I stuck it around. Whoa, as I'm moving it, listen. Okay, so let me see if I can get this so you can really see this. Okay, here's my box. Watch what happens when I pluck the rubber band. Ready? Whoa, did you see my rubber band vibrate? Yeah, so when I pluck the rubber band, it's the rubber band that vibrates and that's what makes the noise. Oh, you could really see it vibrating. All right, so that kind of had a deep sound, didn't it? Had a low pitch. Remember pitch means how, if it sounds squeaky, high it would be squeaky. Low, a low vibration, right? Has that deeper sound. So that's how, because of how it vibrates. And we can really see this vibrating, can't we? It's a slower vibration. That's what gives us that low sound. So now I'm going to just push this back because I'm gonna grab another rubber band. Ready? I'm gonna take this long rubber band off, right? It had a slow vibration, which gave us that low sound. Let's see if it makes a difference. This is a smaller rubber band and it's also wider. So let's see if that makes a difference. Mm, I don't know, it's kind of old. It's, it's stretch, it's very stretchy and cold. <laughs> so there it is on my box. So let's see. You ready, I'm holding my box. I'm gonna pluck the string and we're gonna watch it vibrate. Whoa, did you see it vibrate? Yeah, you can kind of see it moving quickly. Okay, that also has a kind of a low sound, right? And that's because it doesn't vibrate very, it doesn't vibrate very fast. Okay, so when I pluck the rubber band, the rubber band vibrates to make noise. All right, so now here's my next rubber band. Again, most of my rubber bands are old, so this one's really stretchy, but it's thin. So let's see if it makes a different, different noise. Ready, I put it on the box. Gotta look closely for this one. Do you see it vibrating? Yeah, you can kind of see it like it gets blurry in here. That's the vibrations. Okay, so my rubber band is vibrating and that's what makes the different sounds. And if I want to, I can put all of my rubber bands back 
back on my box and I can play them all together. It's like my own little instrument, right? Because I'm making, I'm making, I'm making sound with my vibrations. Okay. All right. So this is an experiment you can try at home with your, if you can find some rubber bands and a box. See what happens when you pluck it. See if you can see the vibrations of the rubber band. Remember the rubber band vibrates and that's what gives us sound.